was Yo. their last game. What's going on, dudes? So your internet finally came back after four days. Yep, it just came back for the first time. So lucky. What the <clears throat> hell? What the? Oh, Sneaky, how nice of you to join. Dude, holy shit, Zeri, Yumi, I am actually going to go grab my sleeping bag and take a little nap. I'll be back for game two. Oh, T tours. Holy shit, I'm getting dizzy. This is oh. sick. Yeah, yeah. I saw a Reddit thread actually uh, pointing this out that like, it's it's really enjoyable. It is weird actually that it's unique to LCS because it, I saw it in another league and then somebody said that they don't do it anywhere else. Uh oh, oh, flash W. He has no Q, Vi. Because he got oh, in I there. I guess he yeah. can't flash and keep punching then. Mm. I guess without Q, the play is just over. That could be pretty strong. I don't know if they kill because he he, he will get charmed even though uh, he can flash auto. It's pretty weird, actually. I'd be okay with that just being the end of the play. All right. I'm not okay. Asked double lift this earlier. Now it's your turn. What's New up? New Udyr. Poggers or... or I played a couple games yesterday. I didn't see him. Uh, Wait, hold on. Oh, that was too easy. Damn. Holy, that was too easy. I, I do. Speak of Dynasty Ignite. I no, still fine. wonder, like, is it? I'm slightly ahead of you, probably. I still wonder, like, is it actually always good for Sejuani to go no flash? It's like there's so many times I see Sejuani get punished for not having it. How is Instinct permanently getting hit by both sides of Sivir's Q? That's impressive. It's actually, I'm it's not so... you, dude. Johnson is a god. He is a god. Men. He's caught. Look at his positioning. He's constantly in the worst possible spot to dodge skill shots. He is late trolling. Yeah, why doesn't he just not stand where the boomerang's about to go? It's so funny. No, foolish. but like if you stand next to a wall, you're ready to press E, right? Like you're you're ready to to use your dash because there's only one way that you can dodge, or you're pinned against a wall. I, I don't know. Just stand in the fucking middle, man, where you have so much more space. I'll pin you against a wall. That's oh. true. I think her ult needs to be changed, honestly. Yeah, and her I think attaching. It's, it's, it's really stupid. Weird. I think, honestly, like, her her W, E, and R, and probably oh. Q as well, <laughs> if you add the passive onto that, it would it would be fine. Like, if you just re remake all those abilities. Oh! Is instinct? instinct? In yeah, instinct. Oh. Is really Instinct is, is just, he's sprinting it. Johnson, Johnson. That's true, that's true. Bit he took Ghost over Flash, like, but I think this argument to be made, like. No, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I, yeah, I was capping with that one. That shit was fucking whack. Yeah. What? Oh, wait a fucking one second. Shot. What? Oh. Holy fuck, TSN. Wow, Cleansed is so bad. You guys, oh. you guys. You have to see the start of that. I didn't even see. I blinked. You, you I didn't mean, it, they, they literally had to is the thing Did, that you're missing. No, 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 no. You, you literally whiffed it. Oh, my. It was disgusting from Takui. I what saw it. The, did you, though? Yeah, he ran up with a full diaper. <laughs> with a full <bull> diaper. <laughs> yeah, he shit himself. Okay, let's Watch see. Ari. So he just walks up. He gets rooted. He misses charm. Gets... <laughs> he, he whips the charm on a rooted target and goes melee on Lissandra. Yeah. That was so troll. That was a thick gnar all though, to be honest. That was also a really mess. Was that an Everfrost that rooted Johnson made it so he couldn't flash an RLT? Look at it again. Yeah, it was. Okay. There's actually a world where Zeri doesn't do enough damage to, to win this next fight in 50 seconds. Because TSM's comp is actually pretty low damage. Oh my god, Jose is playing so poorly this game. All game, Jose is just getting violated and slammed. Surely oh there's a better... Oh, wow. What the fuck? He's having a Johnson, huh? He's Dude, these lost. fights are wild. His body in there. All of FlyQuest is just getting melted. Except Afro. Afro is just sitting there like, uh... The Draven guy. The Draven expert. Oh. This is such a strong engage combo. By Yumi? Yeah. yeah. Is there any way TSM can throw? They're doesn't, actually taking no damage. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it's oh, wait. possible. Oh, oh maybe. Maybe. Wait, they're trying to get outplayed here. He's, He's trying going for the throw. He's trying. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. oh. Almost. But everyone showed up to fucking. Oh, nice. Oh, now just one is here. 
I wonder, let's, like, is, is Sejuani just that pick people take because it's, like, a safe blind and, like, not going to get shit on most of the time? Or get shit on most of the time? Uh, I mean, like... I think it is, yeah. Per personally, it, it, it I, doesn't, would, it, I would so much rather have Orin than Sedge if that's the case. I don't even care about CS numbers. It's about usefulness in the game, right? Like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it looks awful. Yeah, every time we've seen it. I don't care I, if Sedge is is three items. I'd rather have. I'd literally rather have a two item Orin, actually. Uh, it's probably just some shit with like the level six setup and just getting a kill easily and then snowballing and scrims. Yeah. Yeah. Then another question is like, okay, like Orin was banned this game, so. So like, what is a good blind top lane at that point? I I mean, th that is actually a hard question. Like top What's lane blind? has some fucked up matchups, dude. Yeah. Like blinding top is hard. That's why I kind of understand this Sejuani, but I also agree that like she's looked pretty useless in a lot of I, games. I, whenever that's the biggest question, it like becomes a matter of like every team's preference. I think like, for example, CLG, they flex Akali, that was sick. I really liked when they flex Akali, they pick Yone mid, it was like, holy fuck, that's so hard to draft against. You need to pick double counters against this one champ and like, they still get to build a good comp. What about Zach top, dude? You think Zach top is slept on? Yes. I, I actually don't think it's bad. Yeah, I, I was bro. definitely playing. It's what? No, no, bad. like it's in solo queue. Yeah, in solo queue, it's fucking sick. Sure, yeah, in solo <laughs> queue. If you play I mean, Zach top, is it gonna be that much better? Is it gonna be that much worse in competitive? Uh, I think picking a top laner with no damage in early wave clear is potentially detrimental. He's not super strong, but he's not like a pushover. His W is a lot of damage. No, Zach does not. He, he, well, he's not gonna have early. You cannot cryo. convince. You cannot name like, name another top laner that does less damage early than Zach. He's probably literally <laughs> the weakest. All right, level Nard. one Zach. What do you, what do you take? Less. No, Nar does so much more damage than him. Level oh, one Kale. Zach, Kale does probably right around the same damage no, you, as Zach. Really? I've seen so many Kales fucking kill people at level one. It's so troll. Really? How people the, get like. How the fuck we'll get can you die? They're like, yeah, Kale's weak early. I'm just gonna bully her, and then she just yeah. lethal tempo fucks you. She's actually strong level one, and then falls off till 16. <laughs> okay. Level one, level two, garbage. Actually true though. Like, I guess lethal I'm not tempo even can carry him. Kale, that's true. Zach doesn't have any rune to just oh! do dumb shit with. I mean, he's not gonna get Pryo, but... Oh, wait, they're, getting, they're getting Sivered, they're getting Sivered. They actually got cocky. Yeah, they, they definitely oh. lose this. TSM should FF here. No, Johnson, oh. go, man. The son of John. Can he do it? Maple does right, look. Maple looks like he wants to get the fuck out and go vacation fast. I punch in my MasterCard info into Grubhub as I sit down to watch Game of Thrones House of Dragons. Wait, Back is open it? Open my cold Bud Light. I tried double lift tech of using two full rolls of toilet paper. Hmm? You're just TPing my own bathroom. I was just throwing them everywhere. And I just started folding them. Doing Logging origami. The toilet. And shoving them up my ass. Oh, God. Wait, that was all your recommendation, double lift? Yeah. Mm. Wait, wasn't it? Something got Fuck. lost in translation, guys. I, I think we definitely have a decent chance. Now, I want to say making it super far, but I think we, we were going to put up a fight. And um, it was still got a lot to learn. We have new players uh, on the team. And hopefully just try to exceed expectation. Yo, he straight up said, I don't think we're going to make it very far. <laughs> yep. If that's not the biggest we're fucking trash interview I've ever heard, then... It's weird, like, it's not good for a player to do that, but at the same time, it's it feels so fake to the viewers when all eight teams in playoffs are like, yeah, we could totally win. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the thing. You don't have to be like that. More like, you know, we're confident in ourselves. But the whole, so we, the whole confidence of like, I I know that we can win. We're definitely going to make Worlds. I'll be so proud to be the first seed. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, okay, uh, Golden Guardians, back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that seems totally balanced. Yumi just took a hook and a full two autos plus Sivir Q and heal plus Guardian. Back I to mean, full. dude, he, he had a really good use of his passive, though. Hmm. Yo, I was going to ask you guys this. Do you think Tristana is good at all, or do you think she's just unplayable? Not unplayable, just not good. 
and what keeps her from being good in this hyper carry esque meta? She only does damage when everything perfectly aligns, and otherwise mm. she's just really bad at fighting. Like, she does damage when. Oh. Oh, Philip's dead as fuck. Yeah, he Ooh. is. W but like, why ult? Because. I mean, I guess he get Jarvan's flash. Jarvan flash. Wait, no. The Surely they're not peeling off Harold. No, they had to pick that I up. I guess their bot lane's continuing it. Yeah, I guess. If they get speed. He's dead. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad. Triss is real like, scary in uh, an all in and really bad at just trades, any sort of like weak side okay. play. Oh, wow, that. Yo, oh. actually, it's the it's the fly mid jungle making plays, yeah. like you were saying. <laughs> yeah, actually, they're not getting gapped this game and it's, it's going really well. Oh, now Johnson hmm. is in trouble. He's dead. He's actually so. Wait, what? Dead. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Very close. Does he not get out if he just keeps walking? Johnson? No. No, he's fucking dead there. Oh, look like he stopped. Isn't that weird to think that like there was a, a long period of time in League where there were no turret plates? Yeah. Yeah. It was all or nothing. You either got the turret and all of its gold, or you got none of it. I think turret plates was probably one of the most clever and like best additions to the game that they've ever made. Like whoever thought of the idea. Totally unique, but also just like makes total sense and really improved the game a lot. Made I the feel game like this so is where Double Ips is setting up to tell us that he was the one who came up with it. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I just gotta say, like that guy's a fucking genius. He's like, he's actually yeah, no, creative. It, it, it was, it, it was definitely one of the best changes they made that like no one asked for. Yeah, but it was still really good. Literally no askers in sight. Actually, Alcove is one of the opposites where it. Was the change no one asked for, and it ended up just being very nothing. I think it's fine. No, it, it's fine. It, it doesn't. It doesn't take away from the game at all. But it just ends up being like something that most players like. You could forget that Alcove exists. Like most games, it just kind of like adds kind of one annoying thing that you need lot. to think about. Really? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of situations where like you're kind of stuck in lane, and if that deep ass pit didn't exist, you would die so much faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I think it's useful. I, I just think for the average player, like, it, it, it's not interacted with for most players and in most games. I think, like, uh, AD carrying gold doesn't step foot in alcove or think about it, like, most of the time. I, I don't know. I, maybe, I, maybe I'm totally well, wrong on this. Maybe it's, I, like, it's people not, are using it more than they... Than it's I'm not so much something to think about. It's just a movement path. Mm. I, I, I think alcove is okay, like, probably better to have them than not have oh, them but like yeah. not by a huge margin like it's johnson's dead it's okay but not largely impactful i i feel like alcove has always just felt like there should be something there oh maple ulted too late oh, it doesn't yeah, matter though holy shit fly. oh speaker is so gang no it's too it's too disjointed yeah, without on... zipper they don't have shit it's the same problem as last game, where Ari isn't a threat. Like, she doesn't have enough damage to ever finish any kills, because enemy team is, like, tanky and slippery. I feel like so many people watch Chovy play Ari, and they're like, holy fuck, Ari does so much damage. It's like, well, actually, he has, like, 13 CS per minute, and is always the yeah, highest you would, level. Yeah, you would have 240 CS at this point. I think, I think you really need to understand what a winning and losing fight looks like when you play Sivir and Zeri. Like, it, it's so important when you play specifically Ooh, this oh. oh wow they actually got him before wow they that was sick that, that was, that was really beautiful good. actually amazing afro holding the engage tool is so important for fly quest wow like like last game afro's playing lulu and his and his engagers are just running it down that was so sick yeah right afro moves funny where like he he likes playing enchanters more than engage supports but he's I feel like he has to right one of the supports who's like very good at playing engage supports it's just he doesn't prefer it that's funny. When I played with Afro, he really liked to hold the go button because it was one of those like almost, I mean, we were all really immature back then, but it was like almost like the passive aggressive, like I have to play engage because you guys suck at it kind of feelings. Mm. And like, I, I kind of get that feeling now where it's like Cipher Nautilus is not that great of a combo, right? But like, I think he saw what happened last game was like, yeah, we're probably fucked unless I hold the tool to go in and I Man, get to call God. it. Like right there, communication is so important. You know that right there, he's screaming, look, 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 look at Nar, look at Nar. And like everyone on the team is just is so ready for it. If you don't communicate as, as the engager on your team, your team is so slow to one shot. Ooh. 
Okay. Oh, they got Yubi. Yup. Another another really good engage by Afro. I, Dude, I love it. The dragon's even faster this game, no? Yeah, they're gonna have a 23 minute soul. <laughs> oh, it's this actually is gonna be a sub 20 minute dragon soul. Holy. Uh, What's the fastest dragon soul you guys have ever seen? Probably 20 minutes, but I can't remember the, which game off the top of my head. Maple's in a really sick spot right here. This could. Philip could die. Philip could die. He needs to flash early. Ah! Oh! No, everyone's dead. Oh. Oh, what? Wait. Are you kidding me? That was good huh? for FlyQuest. How is that the result? Holy shit. Wait, Maple doesn't do any damage anymore. What the fuck? I thought that was going to be for sure good for TSM. That looked very good for TSM. Yeah, what I meant by everyone's dead, I meant for TSM. Ah, look, yeah, look. everyone being Jarvan, like, I knew what you meant. Yeah, his flag. I think you have a higher chance of winning this game if you just give the Infernal Soul and not five kills with it. I think this is fucking a fat L. Shouldn't even try. 3,000 gold down? Let's see it. I, I don't agree. I think 3,000 gold down, you can win a 5v5 with a higher chance than winning against Soul. Yeah, but, like, from the point where you're all just getting fucked? Ye Darn yes, mega. yes. From this point, it, the percentage chance became oh another. It could be a smite God. fight, actually. I mean, this oh. is actually going oh, better for TSM than I feel like it should be. Oh. Maple just finish the dragon, run. Finish the dragon, just run if you're TSM. Just finish the dragon. Oh, oh they got it. SpyQuest got it. Why did Insync take the the cat? I'm like, what the yeah. hell? I mean, lo looking at it, the way it went, like I do think it was reasonable for TSM to contest like that. But like, I don't think Fly should have let TSM get even as close as they did there. Yeah, for sure. I I, I see what you, I see what you're saying. Like, FlyQuest, the the the. the, the Team in the better position has to misplay, but I think the fact that FlyQuest started drag two, it's like usually a team gets impatient and fucks up. Like I don't think FlyQuest should start dragon. Actually, I think they should just sit there forever, like never, never letting TSM ever walk up until the point where, you know, maybe on some midwave it's just like okay, fuck it, now we can just one shot drag. But the fact that they all five ran to drag, it's like now all that space is no longer taken up. There is no pressure. Look at where FlyQuest is. It's like it's like FlyQuest was losing the game because they're like so far away from them. Uh, Ooh, like five man I mean, this engage by TSM2 was so bad looking at it again. Like, Maple goes in as Solo's, like, jumping out with a Gnarled yeah. on him, and, like, he's he's not even close to Mega. Yeah, for sure. I mean, ultimately, the difference on this was was 30 HP on the smite, right? Like, if, if TSM steals that drag, sure, they're 5k gold down, but, like, at least enemy team doesn't have soul. I, I, would, I would take my chances with just, like, a fight to the death there every time. I think it's probably over, but more likely to be over if you all die yeah i i can understand oh shit I, this looks really good for fly quite a lot of damage going out oh. the thing that's good for fly here is that they killed everybody oh true. okay noted i just uh, yeah. i i'm just very impressed that's true, huh? i'm just very impressed with with afro like i think he i think he kind of solo carried this game like if, if he doesn't get that one shot on nar engage earlier and then the dive on zeri mid where, obviously Zeri's trolling, right? But the fact that he holds the button to go and FlyQuest was, feels so lifeless without it, it, it's a pretty big difference. Tactical in and instinct out. Poggers. Really? Yeah. What a crazy swap. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, I, I'm ready to see Tactical play again. Tactical was griefing, right? But then instinct came in and started griefing worse. I think instinct griefs in a different way where his laning and mechanical skill is, is not great but tactical griefs in his own tactical way where the, the game is like going fine or maybe even they're in a winning position and he will just he'll just Jump die it's, it's just it's just like what what the fuck like dude yeah tsm just by the way they just went full fucking big dick mode tactical draven pike versus Siver. this is ballsy gonna be interesting solo is a flexible player with a large champion pool he can play nar dino nar gentleman nar elderwood nar astronaut nar super galaxy nar and many more nars <laughs> what about mega nar no nah, he doesn't play that mm. ad carry has historically yeah. always been the most useless role to fucking sub in and out ad carry is like almost at, at the end of the day like it's like a consequence of the team and like your mechanical ability to like play fights and shit is like not really going to change that much between champs either double if got carried to win eight championships every single time. It was his team. Yeah. <laughs> team gap, guys. Team gap. Yeah, every single one. Eight times. Just luck. Pure RNG. I'm quite the lucker.
And they like, happened to get kicked from shitty teams and join the good one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. Wait, oh, wait, Jose just started uh -huh. beating his ass. Wait, Trim is here though. Be good. Got fucking lost in the sauce. How did he not know Vi? What? It's also very nice that Philip was able to get the push top and be there for the fight because, like, if it was reversed and Solo had the push range versus melee matchup, you expect that. Then there's no way that. Oh my god, this is so disgusting. If they push him off of crab here, wh wait, what? Chime? Chime? Huh? Chime? Oh my oh, god, this is so I insane for Vi Quest! Statue. Lasagna statue? It's only level one. Wait, Jose might die here. Give Draven. Give Draven. Oh, Akali no. and Thrall! Wait, hello. I hate that, dude. Wait, I Johnson hate that is, so Johnson's much. Johnson's kind of griefing this. He's level three. He's level three still... to five here. What? How is he two levels down? What am I watching? Dude, what? Johnson is I actually... I hate seeing someone take a free kill from Draven so much. Like, it actually triggers me. Oh, Tactical he is that, should... He should Got actually run into game. the tower. Oh, wait. Oh! oh! Afro, you troll, Afro. Oh, got Holy oh, oh. shit. Afro, he's cleansed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tactical. Afro legit griefed that so hard. Thank God Draven got that pop ban. I would have actually been so triggered. Secondhand tilt. Was it fucking Johnson who took Jose's Marcus Kindred? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah. one game. Those trolls Johnson fuck. or Licorice, one of them. Mm -hmm. Jose Johnson said it was whatever. Licorice? I asked him about nah, it, actually. Nah, but like, that's PR answer. You're probably streaming. I was. <laughs> but it was so long ago. If he nah, was joking, you gotta he get him at the something. fucking bar. Oh, uh, okay, The real okay. answer. I see, I see. Catch him at the after party. There, it was not okay. There is no higher value crab for anyone ever. Maybe Blabber? Maybe But what Blabber. if you're 100 gold off Infinity Edge? Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh! Oh! Tactical might throw! Oh! Oh my god! Tactical throw! Oh he no. Threw! There's uh, no Double way. lift wins that every time. Double lift Penta's there. Oh! There's no uh -oh. way! Oh, Johnson, he went for the fadeaway and missed it. Unlucky. His mistake is in his positioning. He should not be standing so close to the death bush. Every time you hit bot turret as an AD carry, that specific bush gets you killed so often. You want to hug as close to the right as humanly possible. If you don't if you don't out of the turret, you know obviously that's the safest thing to do. But you, you kind of get baited trying to ward it too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just let the support or somebody with a dash ward it if anyone is gonna ward it. But just um, you know, pro tip from the co stream. Pot friend. Oh wait, wait. Speaker died just... really fast to the point where I almost didn't see what killed him. Yeah. It was Lissandro, Wukong, and Yumi. Are they actually behind, dude? Like, yeah. Well, they're two drags down now. I would, I would well, I mean, much rather be in fly quest position. All it takes is that one mistake, right? Oh like, god. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel this. like it's one of the, it, it's like a strength of champion when it comes to team fight situation more than oh, anything. Oh, time right? ulted too early, dude. Like, you're you have fucking a Kali Pike, like a straight up running assassins and TFT style, like of just these champions you cannot team fight. What the fuck, bro? Dude, I don't this think there's any. Real. Uh, you cannot say that Fly Qu or TSM's comp can't team fight. They 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 were s unlosable position, and then and then like honestly, Tactical just threw with his positioning again. Like Draven had shield bow to Noon Quiver. They can win any five v five that they want, and he had both sums up. It's almost like they're attached. Like it's just a lot of awareness <laughs> by Afro. It really feels yeah, it's like they're attached. Oh Jesus oh. Christ, man. Oh. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Again, dude. Is this why we it's haven't seen the tactical? first big Vi is looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, man. This is the same shit as like running a marathon and like right before you hit the finish line, you're about to win. You, you like start like showboating or some shit. Like you just start doing no you start like twerking in front of the finish line, then you get lapped. And you get hit by a train and pulled yeah. back to the start. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that said, you get hit by a fucking random train. It, it's it's so stupid because the game was over. Draven was like 2k gold ahead and they're about to get five plates on him. There was like it, no... It's repeated mistakes too. It's not even just one. Yeah. Did he mind control Spika to die five times? Spika's death was 100% his fault at Speak blue. Griefing. But I think that blue death was more understandable than the Draven deaths. The one where he didn't briefs. think, he didn't think that Wukong was there at his blue waiting for him is more understandable, because mm. it's not a standard play. It's a 
It's not something yeah, you I mean, see it, every it was, game. It was a good play by Jose. Like, I feel like the, Aqual the Akali pick is like the, the sleeper fucking useless one this game. Like, Pactical is like hard feeding, but Mabel's just quietly being useless, taking Draven's kill, picking fucking useless champ for their team comp. Okay, but like, I, I see what you're saying. Chime is... Oh. Okay. Oh, Akali's fucking broken. He's carrying. Ch Chime is running it down. Let's Ta go next. Tactical and Speaker are both like eight deaths. <laughs> so I, I feel like Akali is like quietly useless, but it's like being quietly useless is the best player on his team by far. Because 0 oh and 7. Oh no, Tactical he's like... You're actually, like you're actually an Akali right hater, now. bro. I think Akali's a really OP champ. Actually, Dude, bro. I, mean, I, think, I think there are situations where she's good, but like I don't think this is one of them. What's the Some most reasonable deaths. condition for like counterplay to Yumi? Like you if always the jump person ship. You're like you just die. Well, I'm saying like in real life. Kidding, what the fuck? If, if you were to, yeah, you like you die in real life. No, but Dude, like I think it should be too like too much of a punishment. Five plus seconds if like the person you're on dies. So then it's like there's actually a risk for Yumi, like because it's so tilting just seeing Yumi like literally sit on someone till they're dead and then just instantly go on someone else and like there's just. Jack's just at least make her have to like use her brain a little bit. Yeah, I was gonna say like with that, are you saying that like if she plays it well and she jumps ship before that person dies, she doesn't get punished? And her cooldown. No, I mean, I still think there should be like hero. a small cooldown. Like I, like I think they just need to make it so like Yumi actually used to buy boots and use flash like a regular champion. Like I think the fact that that she's just designed not having to do like the thing that every single champion needs, and she is unpunishable for that is is like, just such failed design. What if uh, when your attached target dies as Yumi, then Medius shows up at your house and the camera's off and he gets 15 minutes in a dark room with you <clears throat> in an alleyway oh. to, to beat oh. you up, by the way. That oh. sounded weird. Uh, uh, yeah, it sounded weird or is weird. No! Comparing you, Yumi to Lulu, it's not actually that different. Yeah. It's slightly less. Johnson. <laughs> Did you guys see what happened? Johnson didn't spell shield or do anything there. He literally just took the maximum damage possible, and then at the end he spell shields and it's like, nice team fight one. Yo, check that oh. out. Boom. Oh. It's a Dude, point. speak at zero and nine. That's like you don't see someone in this hard very often. <laughs> That's like oh, super fucking giga end. It's weird, like, I don't remember seeing him die nine times, but I, I, I actually don't even care at, after a certain point. Like, I think a after a certain point, every single death is purely cosmetic and has, like, no impact on the actual game. I would say his, like, first four or five deaths were impactful, and then after that, I don't care. You know, going 0-13 is no different than going 0-9 in my... It just is, like, funny to be like, oh, speak of 0-15, bros. But... The game's fucking over. Like you have. I'm to gonna start telling people that next time I'm feeding hard, bro. I mean, after my fifth it's death, true. it doesn't like, matter. In your brand game, the novelty of dying 25 times or whatever is actually more impactful. 27. Yeah. After 10 deaths, did it really matter? Like, no. Is it? Does it actually make a single uh, point of difference to uh, continuously die? <laughs> yes, in fact, no. it does. No, it oh, doesn't. Dude, like, on God, though. Nah. <laughs> dude, okay. Specifically, brand is like. I think a successful brand fight is like the other team blowing everything on yes. you and getting all your spells off yes. and dying. And like, like th that's actually being useful. I don't. I think that's way better than the brand who like sits back and tries to like snipe a fucking W on someone max range. Dude, that's why Meteos goes Dude, in you, 27 you are, times. You're really going to say, Sneaky, that after, like, after, after like, Meteos goes It's impossible for me to make 10. this point though because everyone's going to like point to that game and be like, yeah, dude, that's totally what that was. And it's like... You're bending it too far. Like... Someone repeatedly dying, giving you zero chance of ever getting a good fight is just grief. I think if the game is over, sure, like there's nothing to do. Like it's whatever, it's funny. But like if you're yeah, specifically yeah. only looking at death count, like it does, it does matter in some situations. It depends on the context. If he's, if there are yeah. 13 fights and every single fight he's, you know, that it starts off with him just ulting it and killing himself versus like just getting picked off and spending the whole game dead and actually being a 4v5 I think that's very different yeah. like if he's actually got value if his teammates got value out of his death versus if he's just running it down for free is really different but I yeah, see exactly. what you're saying the the more time yeah. that you spend dead I agree with you the more useless you are after seeing 
That game from Tactical, who do you want in? Instinct or Tactical? Uh, guys, uh, it's, it's <laughs> after seeing I that performance, I, I think we were, we're, going, we're putting the coach in. Chowie's looking great right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think we like, have double lift, dude. <laughs> I think we say, hey man, we're sorry about the whole Reggie bullying thing. Like, here's a blank check. <laughs> Go play this one game, man. This I don't I don't think Ross's might be locked, guys. With enough money, you can do anything. Yeah, it's a blank check, dude. Just drop the ego and save TSM already. Whoa, Solo actually opting to pick up pick Gnar this game. That's kind of interesting. Do you think that'll like help them with the issues they've been having? You think he's going uh, gentleman I, nar? Or I, like... I just think it's time to go dino nar. It's it's his. Hmm. I, I mean, back up against the wall. I could. I, I think he might have a point. Yeah. Yeah. It, we really got to save the uh, gentleman nar for game five if we want a pocket pick. So t let me get this straight. TSM has won every single win this series has been with instinct and then they bring in tactical but if you really think about it as well instinct and tactical have both lost the same number of games so far in this series mm. i have not seen silas take a failure assault <laughs> either well i don't even think a filios wants his ult most of the time so i don't know why silas would i think after should what? be willing to die for this what happens if they go for this. like does he shoot a failure's current guns i think does so yeah does he get the second part? Wait, like, Tactical the... can just die here. Oh. I mean, it, it, it functions. Oh, oh, oh. oh wait, Jose could have got that. He yeah. needed to auto he... buffer Q. Yeah, yeah. He... Uh, I mean, I, I think on the flash, like you can do flash auto and then like buffer your Q, and it should both should hit. You just growl the lift. <laughs> no, no, no. I I cleared my throat. Grr, I'm angry. <laughs> you actually fucking growl. <laughs> <laughs> you won't like you when I'm angry. Here, here's been my idea for it. I think while Dragon's alive, there should be like a teleporter thing you can use in the alcove that like gets you from top to bottom, yeah, like with a channel time. So it's not like you just instantly appear. Like there's a warning that you're going, but just to like actually allow top lane to have oh? more impact. Oh, tactical. Ooh. Tactical kind of oh. got outplayed a bit there by Afro. That's a really, really old mind game. Uh, I mean, yeah. you, playing around top is still a viable win condition. It's just like... Really? Because uh -oh. I heard something different uh, <laughs> recently within this game, actually. What the Ooh. fuck? Solo flashed in place. Yeah? Did he not? Did he? Mm, it kind of looked like it. it he, he literally Wait, flashed in place. It might have been spectator bug. I didn't quite see. Oh, my God. Oh! oh time got far there. Whoa, oh, Philip! Philip. Oh. oh, he gets some nice. Okay. Wait a sec. Wait, yo, yo, Johnson check was... 80 carry CS. Check 80 carry CS. Oh, what God, the no. Fuck? Bring instinct back. Something oh. fucked up happened here. Oh, my what is this? God. It was 50 a second ago. Does Tactical what still play fuck? League? Like, has he been Valorant grinding or what? I think, uh, actually, the, the goal difference between 80 carries is not as bad as it may seem. You know, really? it's pretty bad right tactical, now. But tactical no, tactical got a lot of gold off of top turret. Like, it was actually a fucking miracle that he got five plates and a full turret by himself. So, that situation. Was he the one who dropped the Herald, though? Because there was a Herald. I don't. He, he yeah, did, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. He, I think he got it... a lot just just now. He's not the I've Something I've always thought was weird is that, like, the jungler picking up the Herald has kind of been, like, the default since it came out, right? But yeah. I think a lot of the time, like having your carry pick up the Herald is actually like so much better because cool, like someone getting solo gold with Herald, like getting like a three plate turret solo, that's legit like one K in their pocket. Like they're just fucking Jeff Bezos. They get that. What? Okay. This is deep. That's good. They get him. Wow, oh, that's good. Oh, it's not balanced. I am absolutely amazed that that could ever result in something good. Wow. That's a whiffed Silas Leon ulti into a into a fucking Wukong Rakan. No, he didn't whiff. It didn't whiff. He didn't use it there. Oh. He used it on the CC. Wait, now they're fighting three v five, three v four. Oh. 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 Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. It's chakra wait. time. Oh my God, Johnson! Oh, holy fuck! Johnson! Oh. No, that, that was pretty sick. That I was can... sick. That was sick. That was props. That was I big would balls. do one small change there. I think he should have done the red ulti. I think the shock ulti is a little overrated. He could do the exact same amount of damage without. Oh, oh, oh. Two oh. more boomerang. Get the kill. No. Wait, he's dead? No. Oh, he's not. Okay. Wow. Johnson made a fucking super play there. That looks so bad for them.
And then he that's just... That's Meteos' favorite NA AD carry. Yeah, right that's there. it. It was so sketchy, like, when he was 1 HP against Wukong. Like, usually you don't want to be mailing Wukong. But then, on the flip side, Wukong does not want to be mailing Aphelios there. Yeah. Oh! Big engage time. Oh, oh my god, TSM's oh, gonna kill them all. Oh my, oh my god. goodness, Wukong. Oh. Wukong oh. or Khan actually kind of goaded on the We stick. actually have a game right here. Yeah, this is a banger. Such a ridiculous game. I feel like Johnson must be like fucking so triggered that Tactical was allowed to get back into the game. And on the flip side, last game, Tactical was probably so annoyed that he let Johnson get back in the game. It almost yeah. feels like the winning bot lane player doesn't know how to like properly keep them starved. Yeah, you know, one one way that I like to think about it is like if I'm really ahead of the AD carry, enemy AD carry, it's okay for me to just make it really hard for this guy to farm for the rest of the game. Like because as long as I am the cause of like him being useless, the game is basically a four v five, right? Like we don't need I don't need a snowball. I don't need to go take over and kill everyone else on the map. Sometimes it's just okay to like slow things down and just let the opportunity Exist. come. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, like, you're a human and he is not. That's good enough. Yeah and, and, yeah, and honestly, like even if your team loses, like you'll look way better than their AD carry. So it's just a win-win. I dude, couldn't have said it better. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with jungle. Like I don't care if their jungler is ganking every lane. That's my team's fault. As long as I have more CS than him, I'm gapping him hard. <laughs> No, but I'm sure it happens in jungle too, where like, you get really ahead of their jungler and like... Oh! oh gosh. Wukong is looking really insanely OP in every game. He is. Flash W. Oh, beautiful! Be oh, beautiful. Holy shit, beautiful! Oh my Dude, god. Dude, TSM is just oh shitting my god. Oh my goodness, Tactical is actually smurfing with this mid lane split. That's a quadra kill. Holy shit. 4 that v, was dude, 4v5? Fucking juicy. Right? Was was that 4v5? Tactical wasn't there the entire time? Yeah, he was just yep. not there at all. Wow. Dude, Maple and Spika, actually everybody playing great. Bronze 3 here, get a grip, Meteo. Sneaky's right on this one. Trundle's ult is, is ass. Oh, fuck. My bad. Oh, get it, it together, man. It's not that it's ass, it's just, like, on Silas? Like I said, you want, like, a high impact ult. Do you think Alistair ult's bad on Silas? No, it's good, but... Like, if he takes Trundle ult, and, like, the way he used it there was bad. Like, yeah. you want to be ulting Leona during her W or something. And then yeah, you get yeah. super fucking tanky, and she becomes paper. I mean, he's just trying to, like, do as much damage as possible in a short window. Yeah, but, like, Trundle ulted him back, and so it's like, who if there's two Trundle ults, whoever ults second gets much more out of it. Yeah. Guys, is Triple Infernal actually just a soul by itself? I feel like it should just pop the House of Dragons. It's that strong. <laughs> it's a lot of damage. 20% more damage. My god. 20%? Well, it's 18% more AD and AP. That's pretty powerful stuff. Where's the extra 2% come from? Uh, rounding air. Monopoly. Uh, Bank air. I nice. see. Well, actually, uh, factoring in the fact that uh, not every champ uses the... The stats well and base damages on abilities is probably a little less than even 18% damage. Uh oh. Big team fight. Oh, Sivir Show. Yep. Bouncy, bouncy, oh, bouncy, oh, bouncy. Speaker's running it down. Sivir Show. Hold up. Is this the throw? Let's so. go, Johnson. Doesn't seem to matter. I mean, they can just play for Baron, and then a minute after that, they can use the Baron buff to close out with Soul. So there's there's not really any hope, I would say, for oh, and Philip's dead again. Is he dead? It's looking wow. He actually got wait. shit on. Wait, maybe Maple's throwing. Oh my god, Maple is throwing, dude. Oh, Leona got the one K. Ha <laughs> ha, that That's sucks. Fucked up. That's actually so bad. That sucks. Ugh. Well, now uh, Aphra's almost as rich as Chime. Let's go. Uh, gold is gold. Maybe he'll buy something useful with this, like Anathema's, I don't know. As far as timing to die, like Maple didn't choose a bad time to just run it. It's so far from anything important happening. So. A yeah, good death, man. Yeah, I, I, it's I, not I, a good there's death. There's never a bad time to hand over a thousand gold. It's my motto. Of all the times <laughs> to hand over a thousand gold, you know, it's better now than in 30 seconds.
Then he's just going <laughs> to lose his team, Baron. Oh, dude, he let Afro Moo get Randuins. That's going to be really tough for them to come back from. Holy shit. Simmer's going to do exactly the same amount of damage to him. Tactical has Stopwatch, Flash, and Cleanse. It seems unlosable for him, which is why I'm very fucking worried. Yeah, this is tactical we're talking about. I, I like <laughs> actually am I'm I'm like sweating my balls off because it if he, if they just play normally, it's it's un unwinnable for FlyQuest. Um, just go to Drag now. Go to Baron. Just go to Baron. It's 40 seconds. You have time. Just do it. There's no threat what? on you at all. Just even if they steal the Baron, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get a fight. Just go, man. Okay, if, we're gonna wait for Drag. Flip Baron lose the game like. It's not really a flip. Like, if Jose flashes in to steal the Baron, that's good for TSM. They kill with everyone no on the team. Yeah, with no, I mean, no flash, but win-win situation. Get Baron. Oh, oh the TP flank from TSM. Whoa! Wait, he's joining his team. He's not flanking. Wait. Oh, oh, oh I mean, he, he was flanking TSM. Okay. Oh, hold Just up. straight Ooh. one shot on Afro and said, Wait, "What? How did they get through his yeah. Randuin? What? 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 Oh my God! Wait." Johnson? Okay, no, Johnson dies. Johnson dies. Oh, oh no. Yeah. It's over. It's over. He got real horny. But for who? For the okay. uh, fucking Nar. For the losing team. And we got the silver scraps. No, honestly, wow. like, even though they might lose off that, Johnson will have his flash stopwatch available for game five, which is really where you need it. <laughs> Hold up, what you're even, fucking what even right. What stopped him from pressing any buttons on his death? I don't know. He kind of went sick of it on Nar. I think he just wasn't feeling it. He did go Maybe sick Maybe Silas or something? Does, uh, does the entire worldwide community, like, know about and do Silver Stripes? I actually don't really know. Like, I don't know. If, if it best of five happened to LPL or LCK, would they do Silver Stripes? Is it, like, a global phenomenon? Yeah, I was at the World Series last year for baseball. It got to game five and just everyone was fucking cat jamming hard. Mm. Uh, 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 Respect. Huh. It's just that, like, it's just, League is that iconic. <gasps> oh, oh, we're playing to Holy win. Holy fuck. They oh, actually wait, want the wait, win. Wait, wait, wait. Finally cares wait about a second. Dub. Actually, Orin's not that good this game. Right. No, uh, actually, he's not that good. Aatrox is mm -hmm. an answer into Orin. And, but he picked the matchup. I know, but like it's it's historically been a, a good matchup for Aatrox. Aatrox just loves playing against these super tanky champions that he can just fucking life steal off of. And I think Poppy is actually good against Orin. Like you can actively stop him from getting his ulti off if you if you play for it. I yeah, that's fair. There. A lot of people have been doing Brom jungle as well for that same reason. You just shield the ult, and nice. he's basically useless. You guys yeah. are capping. I actually, I, I, I like Orin. I've, I've heard about I've this. been fucking jerking this champ off, but I don't think it's good right now. Mm. Zyrocon, do it. Please. Actually, good. Yes, let's Chime fucking can, go. Chime can let's play Rakan fucking again. go. Oh, Jinx from Arcane. Nice. Don't play Jinx Wait Rakan. Wait a sec. Oh, uh, no. Um, no. Dude, I actually... I feel like we went back in time with... I love no. watching this kind of game so much more than, like, fucking Enchanters. I, yeah. Regardless of who wins this, props to these change? teams for actually giving us an entertaining series. You know, I, I, I agree with you, actually. The comps are really exciting to watch, both of them. Like, things are just going to happen. Tom Kench is kind of lame, but, like, it's fine. Just one out of ten, ten champs. Uh, yeah, Tom Kench is probably the only truly defensive champ out of all of these. Everyone else is looking to go in, which is really nice. Damn, they're getting... Oh, my God. They're getting fisted. This is a dive. This is oh, actually Rakan's oh. biggest weakness. Rakan's biggest weakness is this exact level 3 gank timing. He's so weak. He's so easy to dive. They should just... He is submissive and breedable. Wait, this Tom Kench skin is fucking badass. He looks so, they should, like... They should walk up here, man. Okay, never mind. What oh, the fuck was that up. heal? Oh, he, the wow. heal yes, heal. I do think it's weird that, like... There, there's no reason for them to... Whoa, no! Game. Speak up, mess up the Q flash! Holy moly. I didn't even see it. Oh! Johnson? Heals what for no reason? What is happening this game? Oh! Maple's dead, dead, man. Maple's dead. Oh! He is dead. And speaking of my die, he might die. He has no flash. He, he might die. He's fucking 
dead as hell. All right, Sabika's dead here. Ooh. Oh my god. So far, games that have gone well for FlyQuest mid jungle have been dubs. I don't really see the point. Uh, it doesn't stop the vial, but like I think you can make it so like she ends up pushed. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why Brickon is just totally fuck, broken. <laughs> yep. Tom gets just walking around, just gets completely Wait, Johnson's, gang -banged. Johnson's fucking dead. Oh, Johnson's dead here. Yeah. Oh god. This game is over. Is it? True. Yeah. I don't really know who's winning if it goes ultra late game. Or I think I, I would rather feeling. be TSM's comp. Yeah, I, uh, I, I love playing comps like this because I feel like it's just oh. anytime you get like a number advantage, you can just yeah, force you can the just play do it. so hard. Oh, this is a nice flank by Philip though. They don't know he's here. Oh my god, they do. Chimes going uh, in again, and this time it's bad. Like it's, for TSM. it's probably the first time that it was bad for them. Oh, speakers one HP. It looks like TSM okay. got the arrow. TSM oh, got I mean, it, they, but couldn't they pick they it up. Blasted it. Yeah. Oh. Philip needs to know he has a giant shield when he comes out, but it doesn't matter. Can't go. Wow, that was a whole lot of nothing. A lot of flashes blown, though. Gold is about to swing. Philip should... Philip's dead, I think. Oh, very nice early peel off. Wait. Wait! No! He knew he was... He was knew he was in danger, and then he just... Oh. Just die for it! Just die for it! He, he got That's a 1v3. He's got this. No. Oh, he whipped the Gore Drinker. Never mind. BG. Mm. No, dude. I don't know if he got gold on the on the on the tower there. He then. did. I, I saw plus three hundred. Plus three hundred. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he almost had a good read. I, oh, I wonder if he. I wonder what his thought process was between backing up and then going back in. Like, do you think he was trying to mind game it? Like, okay, I'll back up so they stop coming and then I walk back up. Or do you think he was just like hesitating? I think he was just wasn't sure. He wasn't sure, and he just made the wrong read. I mean, it's just that uncertainty, man. Like, that that's gonna stick with him hopefully for a while. I think there's almost no chance we see any of these teams at Worlds. Uh, it's, it's, the level of play is just a little bit too low compared to Ooh. CLG. Very fucking nice. Spika has flash in five seconds. Ooh. Spika has flash in like two seconds. Okay, never mind. Let oh. go. A corpse. That was nice. Oh, Maple has oh, to flash. Holy my flash lick. Good. Let's go. Jesus. He <laughs> wanted to center that Tootsie Pop, bro. <laughs> Huh? Oh my oh. god. What's gonna happen oh, he here? Oh, he can't get he, the world ulti. Chimes ulti is really bad. Really chime. bad. Oh, oh my it's god. Over, it's over, it's over, it's over. It's done, so. GG, TSM wins worlds. I mean, loses worlds. Say it, say the Black line, say the line. Wins worlds. Okay, fuck it, I'll say the line. That's the series. That's the series right okay, there. Okay, well, on, th on three, on three, okay, on, th on three. One, okay. two, That's three. The That's the series. That's the series. <laughs> How do I say the whole thing on three, dude? It's a long phrase. I can't fit it all into one syllable. How come Sneaky doesn't ever want to say that's a series? Well, it wasn't a series. That's why. Keep calm and that's a series. Actually. Yeah. Oh. Maple hero play. Let's oh my god, go. Jose's throwing. Oh, he's just. Okay, run, 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 run. Look at Chime. This is 5v4. Phillip's not TPing in oh. yet. They don't know. Oh. Put up the turret or some shit. Another Poppy whiff. Oh my god. Fi ulti gets cooked. Poppy's dead, dead. insta. Wait a sec. Ooh. I miss in that ass. This actually wow, could be man. bad for... This could be bad Wait, for TSM. Yeah, this is good for TSM. It's really good for TSM. Oh. Damn, oh, boy. Oh, oh shit. shit. Game five, boys. Dude, this might actually go to game six. Holy fuck, TSM. Oh my god. Is that the series? I mean, how if often bottom, do you see people? Happy about that. How often do you see people successfully get Baron with five people alive? <laughs> oh my God! So. Oh well. my God, dude! Poppy <laughs> counters Orange so hard. Oh my uh, God! Uh, he whipped the or Oh. Uh oh. Wow, we are seeing some high-level play here. Oh, oh Takumi got canceled. It's over. It's, it's over. over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Two yes. Oh, never mind. Wait. Jace doing a lot of damage. Wait. Wait, he zoomed though. Johnson zoom, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. He, he, he needs mana. Gun. You have no mana. He can't use fish you bone. Dude, he literally went fucking oom um on Jinx, so he couldn't carry the fight. That's rare. Oh Don't my. Don't see that one every day. God. Dude, I thought he was playing Jinx, not Caitlyn. What's happening, man? What the fuck?
TSM gets Cloud Soul, the highest win percent dragon. Okay, 97.3% win rate on Cloud Soul, Challenger and above. All right, All right it's, above. GG. Oh, it's GG. Uh, Fly plus it's only 2.7% chance of winning statistically, Nurge. This isn't Challenger. We've run the numbers. I think they're all Masters Plus. No, we've run the numbers. It's not no, losable. No, we were in the numbers. No, it's 2.7% losable. I like oh, how shit. Speaker's making, or Soul's making the one HP Vi tank Baron instead of the fucking full oh tank horn. Fucking God, what's happening here? Uh, I would not tell ya. Uh, hmm. Looks pretty fucked for Fly. Oh, I suppose so. Holy shit, man. I could barely even tell who was winning that. Yeah, it almost looked like Fly was going to I mean, win. They didn't have Jinx, so it would have been fucking hard for Fly to win that. Yeah. On yeah, top of close. a 97.3% win rate soul. <laughs> That's facts. Tactical sold his boots. He's like, he's actually super six over full items. Caps. I don't actually know if that's that good, but maybe with Cloud Soul, it's not as bad as normal. Actually, not bad because of Cloud, yeah. Yeah, he still has roughly the same. Actually, speed. it's not that bad because of the Cloud Soul move speed. Because of Cloud, it might not be that bad. It's actually not horrible if you factor in the Cloud speed. You know what? That's a good point, Medios. But I think that the fact that he actually has Cloud Soul might be a better point. That is a really good point you you added on, yeah. Oh, oh dead, wow, he's so dead. dead. dead, 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 dead. Yeah. Okay, he's alive. What just bonked him out? Philip's dead. Nope, Philip's alive. Wait, everyone's getting cleaned up by Maple. Oh, oh wait, Takuyi is chasing down Chime. If he gets this assassination, it could be what they need. Oh! Get the Ray reach! Johnson! Johnson! Oh. No! It's over. Chisholm, what team Chisholm actually wins? Tactical, legit, fucking hard carries. 11 and 0 Zaya. Let's go. He's the GOAT right now. Better than Danny, actually. Damn, I'm bro. Surprised they won the series. I am too. I thought they Same. were fucked this game. May have not been the highest level of play. No, shut up. That was that was entertaining. Level. What if TSM actually wins worlds? They've been hold they've been saving their secret weapon tactical for the very end.